All right, so I met this lady in 2008. We got married in 2011. We had our first child in 2011. We had our second child in 2015. We've been married for 10 years. We've been together for 13 years. We just recently found out we're brothers and sisters. Hey, and then me and AJ, you have to go and do the DNA test too. <laughs> Wow, I'm the headless YouTuber. This is Headless Reactions. So this married couple, for 10 years, they've been married for 10 years. They have two kids. And it's now that they found out that they are siblings, brothers and sisters. Hey! Hey! Asimu! So now, what is the world coming to like? What happened? I, I, I want to know what happened. Is it, is it that um, there have been siblings who are separated? And what, what's, the, what's the backstory? I'm on your engagement, Anna. I'm on your engagement, Anna. Because if you got married 10 years ago, fine, you got married. That means two families will come together. And if you guys are actually siblings, whatever the case of separation, adoption, or whatever, at least one person from the other family should be able to identify. Ah, I said, for me anyway, I'm It's like they look alike. Huh? Who is your father? Who is your mother? And you find out. Or maybe they, they elope. They went to do a secret wedding and a baby. This is why... If you find somebody, you have to take the person home. You have to uh, know the parents, know each other. and Because if they had actually done a wedding, an engagement, two families came together, someone would have known that they are siblings. So how did this happen? I don't even know. Now, this has brought a whole lot of things to light. Well, before I even continue, shout out to Ni and AJ. And they are a couple. And that was just a joke. They are a very dope couple. They have a couple channel and it's doing really great. You know, they educate a lot. Last time I learned a lot about um, the skills you have to do when your wife is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use it later in life. Don't worry. So, back to the matter. Open and close. <laughs> so, the issue. Now, when you, when you go out on dates, because of this new... Um, think that this people's situation, this couple's situation. So when you go out on dates, now things are getting uh, more difficult. When you see someone you like, you go out on dates. What do you do? What kind of questions do you ask? Huh? Aside the normal, what's your hobby? What do you like? What school did you go to? And all that. Now you have to ask, ask crucial questions. Very, very crucial questions. And questions not said. Hmm. So now you be vibing, you know, you go out on a date after at a very nice place, you're eating, you're vibing, cool. Then you you now start to get into the crucial side. You start asking questions like, So were you born a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. That is a very crucial question for this twenty first century. Were you born a boy or a girl? Because now there are people who were born like biologically. They were born boys and now they are girls. Before you realize you take somebody home, you undress and the, the two of you have the same thing. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> not cool, not cool. It's just a, a like post repel. Hmm? And now aside, aside that one, now, I come to ask another crucial question. So, who are your parents? So, where were you born? So, uh, you, you see, getting to know. Maybe that's your sister that you're, you're on a date with and you don't know. Or now you have to date another way. And, uh, okay, so, what are you doing after the date? Oh, I'm not doing anything. Okay, I'm not doing anything. And so, after the date, can we go and have a DNA test? <laughs> hey! 
Now this is this is where we've gotten to. This is the 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 level we've gotten to. Because these people have been married for 10 years. 10 oh. And they don't know that they are siblings. And they have two kids. How? Because when they went out on a date 10 years ago, they didn't do DNA tests. <laughs> <laughs> so now that is where we are. You have to be doing DNA tests. Every girl you meet, you okay, oh, I like your vibe, I think we have a future together, but we have to do a DNA test to see whether we are siblings or not. Because I can't spend 10 years, have two kids with you, and later I'll find out you are siblings. So now what do we do? Do we continue with the incest or what? Or we break up? What do we do? Now you have to check for a whether the person was born biologically a male or female. You have to check whether the person is... um. If you're saying sickle cell, you know, all those things, whether you are compatible. After that, you have to go and do a DNA test again to see whether the person is your sibling. Yeah, blue. So, this. <laughs> hey. Wow. What would you do in this situation? Let me know in the comments below. What will you do if after 10 years of marriage, you found out that your, uh, your friend is saying, your husband or your wife, is actually your brother or your sister long lost whatever what will you do let me know in the comment section below i'm the headless youtuber i'll keep this one short and if you are dating right now please just call your boyfriend or your girlfriend and go go for a dna test <laughs> hey. hmm. anyway yes go for a dna test i don't know i yeah, punk.